A very good morning to all the plants enthusiasts out there. Thank you very much for joining me today. It is a wonderful morning. The sky, though overcast, but our spirit, our will, and our emotions well up with gratefulness for being able to have so many wonderful plants right in front of us and also in our garden. And I wish you today an extraordinary day. All right here are my Monstera Lashiliana, which I propagated uh, from direct cuttings about three and a half weeks ago. So it is about 24 uh, days. Uh, can you check out some of these uh, plants that was uh, potted? All right, there is, this is the eight ounce cup without drainage holes. You can check out the water, all right? Okay, there's still, there's water down there. I uh, deliberately kept it that way so that there would be a constant supply of uh, water that will be sucked up right to the top or to the roots. Uh, check this one out, all right? Puppies at the bottom and uh, check out the roots, okay? Uh, some of the leaves are actually dying because of, uh, you know, too much water or moisture. Uh, you can see that it is... Uh, uh, browning at the uh at the at the at the top half of the lift and they are also browning uh, around this lift but as you can see there's a new shoot right a rather huge one coming out okay this is uh the first of the seven of the cuttings uh this is a top cutting right so the leaf is uh browning again and uh, i have this uh, issue uh, which is basically from my uh, investigation and also observation it is because of uh, there is too much uh, water all right uh, i think uh, this plant prefer uh, much less water uh, make sure that the top is dry uh, in terms of uh, one or two inches at the top of the soil and then uh, water them all right check out the roots again Okay, and uh, basically, from what I can see, the top leaf is uh, is so-called pregnant with uh, a new shoot, but it is not uh, it's not seen as yet, right? Uh, check this out here. It's over here. So it's not out as yet, so we got to wait. But this is a nice top uh, cutting. Okay, this is the third plant. Check out the shoot. All right, the roots, three and a half weeks, direct cutting. But I must uh, say that uh, these direct cuttings have aerial roots, uh, quite good aerial roots, uh, when I pot them. Okay, let's check out the, the shoot. This is the uh, fourth cup I'm showing. And this is the fifth one. Again, you can see the shoot. All right, uh, check out the roots. It's gone down to the pumice. Again, uh, there is uh, water at the bottom. All right, good roots. And this is, uh, this has the, the, the largest right, uh, shoot going up. Uh, the leaf, this leaf should be gone soon. I'll just leave it there until the shoot is up. Uh, I think there's another growth point right here at the bottom, all right? Because these are two uh, nodes cutting, okay? Uh, or two leaves, uh, you know, it has two leaves that I cut, uh, so there are two nodes, okay? The roots are, are there. And finally, this is a casualty, right? Uh, I think there's no hope for this, basically. So I'm not going to bore you uh, by un uprooting it. Uh, it's gone. Uh, okay, I want to uh, show you two, the two kinds of substrates that I am using. Right, this is a a pasi malang or a uh, volcanic pebbles or pellets from Indonesia. You can see. Uh, all right, let me just pick some out for you to see. All right. It's hard. Uh, it is a raft, and uh, it is 
you know, it's not smooth at all. The surface are rough there for creating a lot of uh, surface area uh, for it to uh, be in contact, in touch with water. And also uh, the water is in these uh, pellets and therefore it will be able to release it. It is very popular uh, in Indonesia and it's available locally here in Malaysia uh, through Shopee. You can buy them. And the other one that I am using, uh, let me just... Uh, show you this is a fluel a stratum okay uh, now I'm not too sure whether because of this uh, stratum uh, the roots are better uh, I don't think so because uh, you know uh, this this uh, batumalang with which I can see is uh, also uh, doing not too bad all right uh, but uh, the rest of the five pots, uh, not five pots, uh, most of them are rooted uh, or planted in, in stratum. This is a uh, malang pellets again, all right? Uh, so the roots are not that good. Maybe uh, from this so-called, you know, tiny experiment, I'll call it tiny because... Uh, well, you know, it is not clinical, it is not, it's not scientific, it's just uh, a net total. So, uh, stratum, uh, good roots, all right? And this is again a uh, stratum, okay? Uh, the roots are good. Okay, now just, uh, again, uh, why I prefer stratum? It is because, uh, you know, the survival, survival, survivability of the cuttings are really good, especially even when you cut them and, and plunge them into this stratum, rather than uh, you know, uh, put them in, in water for three, four weeks for the roots to emerge, right? Uh, so this uh, stratum, you can just uh, crush it, it becomes powdery, okay? All right, and again, uh, this is also stratum. Uh, the roots are good. So my go-to uh, would be uh, stratum, even though it costs a fair bit. Now, I'm not a dealer of stratum because stratum is basically an aquatic uh, media that is used for the aquarium. Uh, they place it at the bottom and they will plant aquatic plants. Uh, it seems that that is the best media uh, for the aquatic plants in the aquarium. All right, uh, this is again a stratum. All right, I've been going on and on uh, about this uh, Lesiliana and uh, I hope that uh, you enjoy it and uh, I hope that you have a happy time propagating and growing your plants. Over now.